Today we'll be talking about the money section of mathematics. We'll be talking about financial maths. And more specifically, we'll be talking about simple interest and simple depreciation. We'll take a look on the formulas that we can use to answer simple interest and simple depreciation. We'll also do some examples to allow you guys to understand this a little bit better. So let us start with interest. What is interest? Interest is the fee earned for saving money or investing or the fee paid for the use of borrowed money. It is calculated as a percentage of money borrowed or lent. But today the focus is going to be on simple interest. Now what is simple interest? Simple interest is the interest on the initial sum of money which we normally call the principal. Each year you would receive or you will be charged the same amount of interest. So to calculate simple interest, you definitely need a formula. The formula for simple interest is A is equals to P open bracket one plus I times N, where the A represents the final amount that to be calculated. The P represents the principal, the initial amount you deposit, or it could also be the initial loan that you collect. You have the I, which tells you your interest rate. Probably with our I, we usually divide our interest rate by 100. We also have your N, which represents the number of years. How long do you want this loan or this investment to go on for? And now this example that we're going to do is going to explain how to use this formula in the question. So this question here says, if you borrow 300 at 9% per annum simple interest, how much will you owe after seven years? So the best thing to do in this type of question is to first of all, write down what your A is, what your P is, what your I is, and what your N is. A is what we're trying to find, so we have no idea what it is. Now P represents our principal, right? Now since you're borrowing 300, that's the initial amount at which you're trying to collect. So this year is 300. Your I is 9%. Now 9% can be written as 9 over 100, which is the same thing as 0, 0,09. We also have this loan is going to take place for several years. Then we put all this in the formula. And that's it. While with simple interest, your money, in this case your principal, increase in value. With depreciation, you expect your principal to lose value. And that's what simple depreciation is all about. Let's start calculations. To calculate simple depreciation, the formula is A is equals to P open bracket 1 minus I times N. Close the bracket. So the difference between your Simple interest and your simple decay is we replace positive with negative. We're going to do an example using simple depreciation so you can have a better understanding of how it works. So the question here says, determine the original price of a computer if the value after five years is 2,500 and the rate of depreciation is 9.5% based on straight line basis. So we need to determine what A what P, what I, and what N is. I see that my N is five because we have five years over here. My I is 9.5% because I see that over there. A to be 2,500 and our P is what we're trying to find. How we know we're trying to find our P is because the first phrase says, determine the original price of a computer okay so we put this in our formula and we'll try to find our answer and that's it on a final note, if you want to calculate your interest, the actual interest charged on your simple interest or the simple decay, you do that by subtracting the accumulated amount, your A minus your P for your simple interest, while you subtract your P minus your A for your simple depreciation. 
another important thing of note is trying as much as possible not to simplify until you get to your final answer. The final answer has to be in two decimal places anytime we're talking about money. So this is the first section of financial math. We'll be talking about compound interest and compound depreciation in the next video. Please do check it out. And on your way out, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.